We're right. going to transition to weather a little bit right. now that it is getting cooler. Not this weekend, though. It's like next week, and it's That's feeling right. like it'll be night and day because it's pretty hot. Tale of two seasons. Yeah. That's right. We're going to talk about how we get there as well. Let's start with what's going on outside. First and foremost, we've got a few clouds as we get our Saturday started with temperatures that have been in the 60s during the overnight, and I believe that's where we're going to hang out. Yeah, look live at Lucas Oil Stadium. It's going to be a while until that sun comes up. We've got a little over an hour and about 15 minutes before sunrise officially is here, so it's going to be a little clear and dark over the next few hours, and some of you might even experience some areas of fog because our wind right now zero. We have no breeze. So if we do see some of those low line clouds developing, they're going to hang around. So keep that in mind. Areas of patchy fog a possibility. 69 degrees right now to get the morning started. We're going to hang out in the 60s over the next few hours. Here comes this cloud deck that's going to pass through during the first part of the day. I believe as we get into the afternoon, that's going to clear back out and that will allow for more sunshine, which will warm up our surface temperature quite a bit as we get into the afternoon today. So we'll go 89 in Indianapolis as we get into the afternoon 87 up in Kokomo that sky stays mostly clear as we roll into the evening tonight. So it's going to be a big day up at Notre Dame Purdue visiting South Bend later on. We've got 88 a hot and more humid day. That's going to be a 2:30 kickoff. You can watch that here on WTHR this afternoon. Everybody experiencing this heat depending on where you are. 92 your forecast high later today in Lafayette. We'll go 91 in Greencastle and Terre Haute going to be very hot at 92. The average high for this time of year is now dropping into the upper 70s. So quite a bit of a change from where we should be. We'll go 83 degrees at 7 p.m. Sunset now at 748. That's also getting earlier and earlier. 76 at 9 p.m. and then through 10 o'clock, we're back into the mid 70s. Now, during the overnight tonight, we're looking at a mild setup. We'll drop back into the mid 60s. And then tomorrow, not much of a change in our weather pattern. It's nearly a copy and paste forecast of today. We are right back into the upper 80s for highs. Looking for a high near 87 in Indy, 88 in Shelbyville, and 90 in Bedford. Ready for a change? This is when it's about to happen. So we are clear as we go through our overnight tonight, through the course of the day tomorrow, perhaps a few increased clouds in the afternoon. But after 5 p.m. on Sunday, watch what's going to happen. Our next weather system is going to move in from the south. That's going to bring in some scattered showers by the time we get sunrise on the air, 4 a.m. on Monday morning. It will be a uh, a little bit of a wet commute Monday morning, and then it's going to continuously uh, be raining through the course of the afternoon. Notice these scattered showers here continuing. This is at 3 p.m. on Monday. We've got rain that's going to be likely Monday into Tuesday. This boundary will slowly exit looking ahead at Wednesday, and then once the rain moves out, that much cooler air is going to start to settle in. So we'll go from the upper 80s over the next couple of days. You can see this line right here. That's the average for this time of year. 79 degrees, very close to normal. Monday and Tuesday when the rain's going to be here, but then behind that front, we drop drastically. We're talking about highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s during the end of next week. So there's that downward trend. Be prepared for the rain chances during the early part of next week. We are cooler on Wednesday as everything starts to clear back out. Uh, Julie, if you're ready for fall, it's certainly going to be here the first day officially on Wednesday, but Thursday, a high of just 66. It's